All right. Tonight, we are actually going to do the series on Joy in the Lord. And we're going to go through a couple different scripture sequences. And at the very end, when we do our meditation, I am going to be doing a reading from all of Isaiah 55. Uh, but right now, we will just start to reconnect, check to see your positioning. So for this class, you're going to need a chair. Uh, I would suggest having two blocks and or you don't have blocks, you can always use Amazon boxes or Kleenex boxes or something to equal size. Um, it's going to be up to you how high you want it. Uh, we will actually be placing our feet on top of it. So with blocks, there's three different heights. There's the lower level, a medium level, and the high level. And that's going to determine how high you want to raise your, your legs. And what that does is helps um, stretch your, your hips and stuff like that. So you might, and then that case you want it to, so it's more solid, you might end up going here later on or down here or down here. Right. And that will make sense later on when we go do one of the verses um, in Isaiah. So just want you to be aware of that one. Okay, so if you need something a little bit more uh, stable or larger, feel free to go do that one. Um, so first off, let's go check uh, with your positioning. You can sit um, at, at the edge of your seat so you're not right up against the back. You can have your two sits bone on two press points onto your seat. You're gonna have your knees at hip width apart. A good way to check is again, make two fists. They should be perfectly fitting between your knees. And then you're gonna place your palm of your hand on top of your thighs and slowly start drawing the elbows to your rib cage. As you do that, your collarbones start to open up, your chest opens up, and your heart is being revealed. Uh, the crown of your head is up toward heaven. And if you like, you can close your eyes or you can stay open as you just start connecting with your breath. So we're gonna inhale through our nose, exhale through our nose, continue to inhale through your nose, and exhale. And as you inhale, allow your belly to rise. So it's like inflating like a balloon. And as you exhale, it's just slowly deflating. Continue to do that one so it becomes a little bit more normal or not uh, something you have to con concentrate on. Bring some awareness to how long of an inhale it is, like if you were to count it, one, two, three, or whatever. And how long is your exhale? Sometimes it takes a while to find out how long it is, a couple breaths. And once you're aware of it, see if you can kind of match your exhale with your inhale. So maybe you can lengthen the exhale, maybe, maybe allow it to go a little bit slower or deeper. Once that seems to be a little bit more involuntary, Start taking notice of any uh, tension that might be in your body. Maybe it's in your shoulder, or maybe it's in your neck. Maybe you're scrunching your forehead. And if it's in your shoulder, one of the things I invite you to do is draw your shoulder blades to each other, kind of like your angel wings. Let your angel wings tuck toward each other and then see how that changes things. And if you still feel any tension in your neck, perhaps your um, head is protruding a little bit forward, so kind of like slowly bring it back a little bit so that your crown, your head is in alignment with your spine. Now as you continue to connect with your breath, you're starting to listen to anything else that your body's saying. We're allowing our mind to completely relax. Now being more open to hearing what our body might be communicating to us. Likewise, for us, our, our culture and our society, we're always constantly being bombarded by, by information. 
especially the news. So, um, but if we are able to be still more relaxed or being more open to be able to hear, this is our opportunity to hear God. After all, we really don't want to have these major volcanoes or like what's what we see in the Yellowstone. We don't need a signal or communication like that or a burning bush. A lot of times God is just whispering to us. So are we able to pause in our daily lives and just really listen to hearing what he may be whispering to us? Now at this time, you may want to drop your left ear to your shoulder. And release your right arm toward the floor. Just be kind. And again, if you're feeling any kind of numbness or tingling, that's your body's way of saying that there might be some compression in your neck, so you don't have to bring it, bend it down so much. Kind of come back out of it a little bit. Is your breath still nice and gentle and relaxed? If you like, you can also rotate that right shoulder, which you rotate up and down, doing some movement. To see if you can keep the left shoulder still static, nice and still. If you like, you can rotate in the opposite direction. And keep your elbows still straight and let it just remain a um, nice stillness. And this time you might want to drop your chin, tilt your chin down toward your left collarbone or the armpit. And see if you can draw that extended arm slightly behind you. And it's up to you how high you want to extend. So if you have it the higher, you might feel a little bit more of a stretch in the tricep, but really trying to work that whole back of the neck area as well. Continue breathing, allow the belly to rise with your inhale. Let it just gently fall with your exhale. And when you're ready, and you place that hand back onto your thigh, bring your crowned head back up toward heaven, rotate your face back to center. All right, now I'd like for you to just take notice, how does your body feel? One side might feel a little tighter than the other side. So if you want, you can rotate your shoulders. And then we're gonna do the opposite side. So let's drop our right ear toward our shoulder. And you might notice how one side is different than the other side. Just awareness. Again, listen for any kind of numbness or tingling or definitely you don't want any sharp shooting pain. So again, if you're feeling that, you got to back out of it completely or kind of release out of it. Is your breath matching each other, your exhales and your inhales. It's like a beautiful dance. This time, you may want to release that left arm down toward the floor, pointing the fingers. I want to draw circles with that shoulder. So you can have it go with your breath and go in the opposite direction. And have it stop. You're going to drop your chin down, tilt it sideways down to the collarbone or the armpit, just reaching toward the right side. Then you might want to extend that back arm going toward the back. Again, you get to decide how high you want it or how far back you want it. So, more is not always better. Continue the breath cycle. Nice, beautiful inhalation. Nice, beautiful exhalation. Continue to do that. And 
and when you're ready, you're going to bring that hand back on top of your thighs, current head back up toward heaven, draw your head back, rotate it back to center, right? And again, I want you to feel what's going on in your body, rotate it. And then when you're ready, you're going to do a little bit of cat cows. So your hands on your thighs. And cat cow is just giving us a little bit of spinal um, extension and flexion. So as we exhale, we're going to draw our back behind us, having our hands, palms go toward our knees, chin tucks down toward our chest. As we inhale, we're start drawing our hands toward our hips, drawing our heart forward, slowly draw it forward, and then we're going to go into like a slight little mini back bend. And only if your thoracic spine, the upper part of your spine is curvy, will you let your head be part of it, extended. Now as we exhale, we're going to start rounding your back again, drawing it back behind us, tucking your chin down, our tailbone tucks forward, hands extended, and then again, inhale as we slowly bring our hands toward our hips, chest and heart forward, shoulder blades tuck back behind us, and then maybe gaze goes up. One more full breath cycle, exhale. Inhale. Beautiful. All right, so we're kind of warmed up here. So with this series being Joy in the Lord, one of the first scripture verses is Nehemiah, uh, Nehemiah, Nehemiah it's going wrong way, Nehemiah 8.10. So if you ever decide to read the entire chapter, it's, it's actually wonderful. We talk about feasting and all that stuff. We're not going to do that here. Uh, there's different uh, videos to watch people eat. So in our case, I'm only using the very end piece of, of this um, scripture, um, and it is the joy of the Lord is your strength. So in this case, we're going to do joys as we inhale our arms up into a, so you think about joy, it's just happiness. You think about someone being happy, you just kind of throw their arms up. The joy of the Lord, so we're going to drop our hands down into our cross for the Lord. And you'll see, I, I'll use two different ways to show the Lord Lord is our strength. So now we're going to allow our elbows to bend, rotate it downward, and when it rotates back up, and is our strength, is your strength. Okay, so you see how that works out. So benefits here as we inhale our arms up, the joy, so we're getting stretching along our arms, got to use these muscles, find your, your um, spine elongated, the joy of the Lord, drop our arms down, fill your line of extension, pressing outward, so you're getting a nice stretch there, and also still some strengthening. Check to make sure your legs don't fall out, nice and strong here. Lord is your strength. Now we're getting to get to work on those joints. So elbows drop down and rotate. And then if you want, you can even make your fist strong and press it into to it, and then you're gonna engage your bicep muscles. Now, some of us, we may have, depending on shoulder flexibilities or mobilities, you might notice it might be a lot closer in front of you. That's completely fine. Eventually, we want to be able to have it so that maybe we're, we're expanding, so it might be here. So again, listen to your own body, what it's able to do, okay? So we'll do that one more time. Ready? Inhale. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Beautiful. All right. Now. We're going to come back to that one a little bit later on. I'm going to go through each of our scripture sequences. The next one is Isaiah uh, 55, 12. And this one, this one actually was kind of inspired when I was doing some hiking during our summer vacation. So um, you will live in joy and peace. The mountains and the hills will burst into song and the trees of the field will clap their hands. I'm sure you're already starting to visualize what would I possibly come up with here. So you will live in joy and peace. So again, we're going to inhale our arms up. You will live in joy. Now peace from a couple series ago, we had peace. So as you slowly bring your arms together, palms facing each other, imagine your hands, your fingers are kind of like a dove wings. So you're going to rotate it. So it's almost like you're trying to open up a can of peanut butter or whatever. So you rotate it. And then, and then the doves flying away, so peace. Okay, so that's the word for peace, or that's movement for peace. Um, you will live in joy and peace. Now for mountain, we're seated down. 
So we have our hands straight down to the ground, reaching down, and our feet are down on the ground, nice and grounded, and our head is the peak of the mountain. So if you look at, well, I can see you, um, we're kind of in that shape of mountain. So the mountains and the hills. So we're gonna do like hills and mountains, a bunch of them together. This is where we're gonna actually use our, our feet and our blocks. So you can bring your legs to whatever height. I'm gonna do my exaggerate on purpose, so I'm gonna have my height. So you choose this way. And if you, what I'm trying to do is pretend that there is a, a blanket in front of you and a light, bright light behind you. If I were to look at your silhouette, or can you see how, how we have these up and down, jagged up and down, okay? So, so as we bring our hands together, we're gonna to slowly come down somewhat. So here's what's gonna happen. You go to whatever level. What's going on now is you're feeling a stretch in your hip flexor, probably a stretch it even in some of your inner ground. And if you have your arms this way and you start bending forward, you might feel a stretch in the lower back. So we're trying to keep um, our spine nice and straight. We're not curving our spine at this time. And you can decide how low down you want to go. So the mountains and the hills will burst in the song. So think about it. we're going to burst, we're going to release it upward and release it out. So kind of like song, sometimes like song. So it's kind of like woof. So if you wanted to, and if you really wanted to like also engage, like strengthen is more your side, you might even be really off your chair and you might even go down here. Then you can also come up that way. Okay, so so that's your option. Um, if later on next month when we do our mat class, it will actually be squatting down to whatever level you want and then actually releasing it out. So this is the same, same thing, but a little bit more accessible. So, so burst in the, into songs. So we do that burst into songs. And then for tree, so we'll have both feet down. And for tree pose, we really want to work on ankle um, mobility. So you can have one foot grounded. So I guess this is your, your right foot right now if we're doing mirror form. And then allow your left um, heel to come up and just rotate slightly. Now I'm gonna give you a, a couple different things. If by chance you have like, um, major knee issues and anything like that, you might not want to go as much. Same thing as hip. You know, I've had people with hip replacements or knee replacements, stuff like that. So you can go to whatever level you want. But, um, and also I had some with no ankle. So you can lift up your um, heel from here. So we're kind of working on that one, getting that nice stretch. So option, you can stay here. Or if you want like a tree tree and really work some muscle, you can also raise that leg up and plant it against your calf and you're feeling how the muscle's really engaging, okay? So it's up to you what you want. So again, this is tree, or if we were doing a standing tree, it would be kind of that, okay? So we're doing the seated. And then of course, tree has their branches growing up. So you can have the trees of the field will clap their hands, ready? Clap. Now, as we rotate our palms outward, press outward, clap. Exhale, clap and then go cross over our body, opposite sides, so we're doing a stretch, you feel it in your arms, I'm gonna clap again. Now this time have the opposite arm in front as it crosses over, you see how we're giving both airs. Beautiful, and then clap. Now we're gonna let that leg that was up go down, it's gonna be the standing foot, and then allow the other foot. So again, if you want, you can use this series where you're just lifting up the ankle, each foot might be different from each other. Uh, it's up to you how much you want to uh, allow the knee to go out to the side, which makes, of course, your, your hip socket, how much is opening up. And so, again, you can choose if you want to have it down touching the floor or lifting up to your calf, it's up to you. Remember, trees, we're going to allow the tree branch to grow up, and we're going to clap our hands. Clap their hands. Clap. Rotate the palms outward. Reach outward. Clap. They're gonna extend it cross over the body, clap again, and then go into the opposite side and clap. Very good, excellent. So one thing to keep in mind, trees, especially in the forest and all that, or in fields, are usually a, a cluster of them. And so if we were actually in person, or if you're with a group, you might actually want to be in a circle. And so what's going to happen is almost like the children came like, mac, mac, mac. So you, you can do whatever you want in that sense. So some of the interesting things when I was hiking, 
um, so there. Is that Isaiah uh, 55, 12? So we're going to do that one again, okay? So ready? In our arms up, you will live in joy and in peace. As we exhale, allow our hands to make the peace sign. Symbol down, ground. The mountains, so now hands nice and grounded. I want you to feel the crown of your head up toward heaven. Really feel that elongation of your spine. The mountains and the hills. Now, I was trying to have the opposite foot go up first. We tend to have one side that moves, so try to have the other one. So we're going to go into that hill side, right? Remember, exhale, hands down, inhale here, and we're going to burst into song. And then the tree, so you can choose which foot you want to be grounded on. The tree, inhale, arms up, of the fields will clap, exhale. Oops, I almost forgot. Go outward to get an external rotation of our shoulders and clap. Cross over, this internal rotation stretch, clap. And then the opposite hand goes in front. And clap. Let's do our other foot. Down, bring up the other foot, or you can have just the heel. And then bring your arms up. The trees of the field will clap your hand. Rotate it out, press outward. And, and really want you to feel yourself firstly kind of like your own isometric. And clap, cross over, clap, cross over the opposite hand and foot. Beautiful, excellent, clap. All right, so that's Isaiah 55, 12. All right, so another one is Abaca 3, 16. Or no, 3, 18. It's like so we're already going faster than the class I'm teaching in person. So I'm like, I don't have all these on top of my head quite yet. Um, this one is, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God, my salvation. So Habakkuk 3.18. And I'll be honest, that's not a book that I'm familiar with. And the interesting thing is our pastor just referenced one. I was like, oh, it's the same one. So... I think God wants us to go into this book. I always see a similarity in this case. So, yeah, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. So, inhale your arms up. So, to rejoice. And this time, instead of doing the Lord row, we have our arms into a cross. I'm going to have us drop your hand. Both hands are going to make the L symbol. So, you can have your thumb spread out and then your index finger up. Okay. So, we're going to cross over. So, you can have your one L to your right hand to your left shoulder, your left hand to your right shoulder. We're gonna cross over kind of like the way they do in sign language, except for we're gonna deliberately press. I want you to really feel the muscles stretching, pulling down, and then you go in the opposite direction. So which hand's on top and down, does that make sense? So as you bring your hands toward the shoulder, it's an inhale. As you exhale, you draw it down. Inhale, cross over the other way. And exhale, you draw it down. So yet, I will rejoice in the Lord, and I will be joyful. So in this case, instead of having our arms extended up, we're going to do a pseudo sign language kind of joyful. So we're going to brush our hands up our chest. I will be joyful, and then keep brushing up. Bring your arms ahead of us, prayer pose, and have it brought down the center line of our head. In the God. So once it gets down to your heart, of salvation, open up into the cross, salvation. So that's how we know our salvation is when Christ uh, is crucified, crucified and he died on the cross. He was, and we believe that's our salvation. So op option here, so I will re be joyful in the God of my salvation. So again, this one, when you have your hands above, and I'm sorry, I just realized I have all my prayer wall behind me. Um, Think about God, you know, when we're communing to God, um, we're going to prayer, but he made this covenant, and back then when they made the sacrifice, it goes from, you know, cutting through, splitting the sacrifice. So this is all the way, but the way I look at it is, we got our mind, and then all the way down to our heart, and then we're going to open up of my salvation. And that's how much God loved us, by giving us his own son. All right, so we're going to do Habakkuk 318 again. So, inhale, yet I will rejoice. In the Lord, so cross, remember, exhale, inhale back the opposite way, exhale. I will be joyful, so as you brush it up, all the way up here, inhale all the way up, 
Exhale as you bring your hands down, just in the in the God of my salvation, and, and then extend all the way out. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to go a little bit faster. No more explaining on that one. Inhale up. I will rejoice in the Lord. Exhale. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. So can you feel how that's a flow? Exactly. Okay, we're doing that again. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. And so some may choose, like when you do that, you can feel yourself getting a little mini back bend. So we're getting that nice little back bend of our spine. All right. Uh, here's one that you may be familiar with. We've done this in the past. Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. All right, so this is where we get um, extension and reflection of our spine. So um, uh, for the word for hope, sometimes, you know, someone said like, we're going to cross a finger for hope. Um, kind of like, you know, like, oh, I hope this is going to work. We don't have to hope like that way, but we're going to use that just, but there's also benefits for that. So we get to move your fingers. So if you're ever concerned with arthritis, you can do that one. You don't always have to do just your um, middle finger with your index finger, vice versa. You can alternate between the two. If you want, just for laughs, you can even try to have your middle finger cross over your, your ring finger and you're like, it's hard to do it the opposite side. So that's kind of good. You're getting to, to make all the movements with your fingers, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale, our arms all the way up, and cross your fingers cross to heaven. We're gonna exhale down to our forward fold. Bend into your forward fold to fill you. So we're gonna fill us up. So how do we show um, um, joy? So we're gonna do jazz hands. We're gonna brush our fingers up our legs. So this is moving some of the lymphatic fluids all, all the way up. As it slowly goes up your legs, and up your thighs, up your belly, up joy. And then, of course, we go peace. Once you get to your heart, we're going to do that same thing with our hands. Peace, like a little dove. Sweep it out so you get the nice flow as you trust in him. So trust, hands down by our side, palms face down. Remember, we are sit seated in a chair, so we're not doing chair pose. If you want more, because trust, sometimes... Trust requires a lot out of us. So if you want to really engage your, your core, you might sit forward and even come off your chair. Okay, so here's the beauty. You can stay seated, or if you want, you can actually kind of come off the seat and you go into the trust. So this is a chair class. So you can, we're actually in chair pose. So you can stay in the chair, or if you want to really feel this, I feel it more, not just in my core, but I feel in my quads. So you can stay here, trust in him. And then once you're seated, so that you may overflow. So here's the flowing in and out, in and out, in and out. So kind of like what we did with our cat cows at the very beginning. So get, let your spine kind of move. You have your arms kind of flowing by the power. So once you see it here, by the power of the Holy Spirit. So we're just going to have our fingers, looks like little eights, facing each other, and then you get to rotated like a little, small little not tornado but the opposite direction so you get the rotation of your shoulders your elbows and even your wrists and then this is in the opposite direction so think about this this is kind of a little bit of brain balancing you're going in the opposite direction yeah. away from each other and then flip it and go in the opposite direction away from each other okay <laughs> that's a little different there all right we're going to do this one again so inhale arms up may the god don't forget to alternate your fingers. The God coming down of hope fill you. So we're going to go into our forward fold. So you're bending down toward the floor. Hands are slowly sweeping up your top of your feet, your shins, your legs. And once it gets up to your tummy, up to your heart, and once you reach your heart, you get the peace. So rotate it, sweep it out. As you trust, so again, you right here, engage it in. Or to take a seat up, it's up to you. You trust in him so that you may overflow. Remember, so overflow with hope 
by the power of the Holy Spirit. Good, excellent. That's Romans 15, 13. All right, um, this one, I know this is cheer yoga. Therefore, we sometimes think it's always seated. But in some cases, we can actually come out of the chair. So I'm going to give you two options for this. Um, what I had in mind is for us to actually get out of the chair, but um, I'm, I'm going to give you show you uh, different ways to do this one just because it's going to allow our hip flexors to get stretched. So something that most, most uh, wouldn't normally think in terms of joy, but it is because no matter what we go through, especially during storms and, and trials and stuff like that, um, we do have the joy of the Lord. And it's not only for, you know, all the happy times, uh, happy versus sad, the difference is there's joy. And joy is where we, uh, has a name to it, and it's Jesus. So James 1, 2 um, is counted all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you make me to trials of various kinds. Okay, so I'm only using that bit of it. And so here's what we're gonna do. Our fingers, we're gonna actually get to simulate our fingers. So grab, hopefully you can see this. With You're gonna have the palm of one hand, uh, let's just say, I'm gonna use my left hand right now. Um, you're gonna grab your opposite hand, just gently, gently pull the pinky down away from you so you get that nice stretch, you can feel the stretch, and then do the next one. Now here's what's gonna happen, we're gonna count. So each time you pull one finger, I want you to do a full inhale and exhale. And then you go to the next finger, inhale and exhale. Then the next finger, inhale and exhale. And then the next finger, inhale and exhale. And then lastly, the thumb, inhale and exhale. And as you raise that one, do the same thing for the opposite hand. So pull the pinky nice and gentle away from you. Inhale and exhale. Now the ring finger. Inhale and exhale. Now the middle finger. Inhale and exhale. And now the well, index, whoops, point your fingers, don't get them next. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. You're following the thumb. Inhale and exhale. Now you're gonna analyze your fingers and bring above you, so as you rotate the, the um, wrist, so the palms facing up toward heaven. So this is the, we just did the count of joy. So how do we do joy? So when you bring it up and it releases, kind of like, yay. So joy, when you meet trials of various kinds. Okay, so here's the, I visualize, it's almost the same thing as, as the race. So you're gonna now rotate your body to one side. So I'm gonna, I'm not doing here now, right, um, leg goes to the right. I'm gonna drop my left knee down. So we're getting that hip flexor stretch. You can now choose to bring your blocks nearby so it's in front of you. So you know when, when you're racing, you're, this is like the meat. So you can go like this, okay? Do you see how that happens? It's up to you how much you wanna extend that back leg, okay? But you have the blocks in the meat nice and, and firm. So this is the meat trials of various kinds. So once you're there, have your, wherever your knee is at, the opposite hand stays onto your prop. You might choose to place your um, same hand on the knee, right behind the knee, but on the thigh. And then maybe press down and look over that shoulder. Just get a nice little twist. If you want, you can even straighten that arm and bring it down. Now we're gonna come back up and go to the opposite side. So rotate, bring your body to the opposite side. Now, in this case, my left leg is, is uh, to the side. I'm pointing in that same direction with my body. My right leg, the one behind, is either 90 degrees straight down, almost like perpendicular to the ground, or if I want, I can tuck my toes and straighten that leg, and I have the blocks underneath me. So I, I want you to make sure you feel nice and sturdy and stable. You have this option. And so now I'm using my hand that's away from my, the opposite hand of my, the leg that's there, staying on the block, and I bring that hand of the same leg on top of my thigh, and I might just press that and look over that same shoulder. So you here, that's how you can do that one, or if you want more, you can always straighten that, that arm if you want. 
but you don't get any extra points. So with that, exhale, bring it back down, and then slowly come back up to here. All right. So I use that portion because then I grab another piece, and I think this is so true for the New Testament. First Peter 4.13. And that is like, so think about beforehand, James 1, 2 said, count it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you meet trials of various kind. Now I grabbed 1 Peter 4, 13. Instead, be very glad for these trials make you partners with Christ in his suffering so that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory when it is revealed to all the world. So, and it's interesting, like, I did not come up with this. It's like God just reveals this isn't a lot of hands and also a lot of eyes, so you'll see. But in this case, instead be very glad. So you're going to be feet together at hip distance apart. We're going to sweep our arms upward. And then we're going to actually, so think about Charles. So Charles thinking of, of a race, you're going to lift up your feet, alternating knees, okay? So up here. So if this, this is engaging your core, you probably feel it going on here and also maybe in your lower back. So you can lift up your legs as high or low you want. And if sometimes lifting it up, especially for those that have um, fusions in their back, instead of doing that, like, what you can do is just pump your, your heels up and down. So you're doing what I call the, the second part, okay? So you can choose however way you want it. Instead, be very glad for these trials make you partners with Christ. So now as we're alternating, we're going to release your arms into a T, which is why Christ if you keep going a long time, we're going to see if we're going to separate it. Okay, so so this is keep going. And then you're going to stop, and then you say, so that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory. So here's what we're going to do. We'll bring our hands together toward your face. Rotate it so that now it's flipped upside down. I know this is going to be interesting. So that your thumb and index finger makes a little eye mask. And then your other three fingers are down toward your chin. I'm going to get real close so you can see. So we have our hands here rotated. <laughs> it's like a Halloween thing, kind of like masquerade. Okay, see, see, but can you see that? And when you do this, how can you not smell with joy? So this is this is a lot of rotations and stretching. So really working these fingers. So we say C. Okay, put a little smile on your face. And then just make sure you don't poke your eyes up. And then, and then when you're going to release your fingers upward, so just think about it. Um, wonderful joy of seeing his glory. So ready, glory. So remember, glory is kind of like you get to shake glory when it is revealed to all the world. So world, we're going to rotate our bodies together. I mean, our arms together and then around our hips. <laughs> and then go in the opposite direction to all the world. Just because I keep thinking like, you know, we revolve and we rotate. So this is what we're doing. So, and then also think about it. When this time comes and when that time comes, this is the kind of praise and hallelujah that's going to be going on. All right. So very, very convoluted way for, for us to get the scripture verse. So let's do this one more time. Same thing. Um, if you want to start off with the opposite hand. So count it all joy, my brothers and sisters. So. Uh, if you want, let's start with the thumb. Press the thumb down. Inhale and exhale. Then your index finger. Inhale, exhale. Middle finger. Ring finger. Pinky. Opposite hand now, pull it out with thumb gently. The index finger. Then our middle finger. The ring finger. And then the PD. Now we're going to interlace our fingers toward each other, rotate. Okay, so the palms facing upward, and as you're bringing it overhead, then release it. So remember, all joy, count it all joy when we meet trials of various kinds. So again, you can go to the side, or the other option I mentioned to you, you can actually come off, the off your chair and choose to 
bring your whatever side farthest from the chair up. Okay, so this is up to you. You can do what we just did beforehand, or you can even have your knees over that ankle and then moving forward. And then uh, can you see how I'm stretching this? So you can do this one, kind of like again, the same thing for a trial. So you do that one. Now in this case, I'm feeling a major stretch along my, my calf muscle. And then, and then later on, you can do the same thing here, like feel comfortable, lift up, or lift up in the opposite direction. And then you want to go on the opposite side, just because you want to have a stability. You go forward, farther, further forward, forward, stretch. You have up front here, and there. But if you want to stay seated, I get the same benefit. Have your box mirror in front of you. Rotate to whatever side so that the opposite leg goes behind you. You can stay straight down or, or straighten your knee. You, and again, these are various kinds. So you have options of what you want to do. You can just stay here static. Just see if you can have your, your head in alignment with your spine so you're not putting a lot of strain on it. Or if you want, you can also do some spinal twists. So again, you have the choice of what you want to do with your arms. You can always pull up. And down or just gently onto your thigh and just a little, a little bit over the whole side. So you get a nice spinal twist and then coming off the other the opposite direction, opposite side. And, the, and it's nice to go really slowly. It's so important to be able to stretch. You stay here or you have the option if you want to place your hand on your thigh, pull this all up. Okay, come back to center. So that was James 1 2. We're going to go into 1 Peter. Instead, we're going to say, instead, so we're going to start walking. Inhale, arms up. Instead, be very glad because, like, yay, instead, be very glad. For these trials will make you partners with Christ. So bring your hands down to Christ in his suffering so that you will have wonderful joy and sing. His glory when it is revealed to the world. Go in that direction. Okay. All right. So let's let's do a combination. So I'm not gonna I'm not going to go through each of the scripture verses. We're just going to do some of the movements, okay? And then when we're doing the movement, it might um, bring or raise into your mind some of the scripture verses. Um, I This is the first time I actually used a lot of the NLT version. Usually I like to use the NIV. Um, most of these are NLT um, just because the, the words kind of match with the theme for joy. But joy comes in lots of different um Version. Some may use the word rejoice, uh, joyful. Um, so I, I figured it, it was just as, as well. Okay, so we're going to do a couple different things, and um, I'm going to might move them out of out of um, the sequence of the scripture just because I feel like we'd be able to move our body in that sense. Okay, so ready? And your arms up, actually your arms down the side, and then we'll rotate our elbows and our wrists. Then we're going to actually draw our, our right knee over to the side, release your left leg down, have your blocks in front of you. We're doing the inhale your right arm up or just place your right hand onto your thigh, look over your shoulder, exhale it down, inhale sweep both Blocks and your arms over to the opposite side, let your left leg go over to the left side of your chair. Allow your right knee to drop down toward the floor or straighten that right knee behind you. Inhale here and exhale. This time, right hand stays onto your block. Inhale your left hand to your thigh or all the way up. Your choice. Exhale it down. Come back to center.
we're going to inhale our arms all the way up and actually we make our L's to the opposite shoulders exhale all the way to our hips inhale bring your L to the opposite shoulder put the wrist in front switch that exhale all the way down and sweep your hands up your heart all the way all the way up to the sky to heaven exhale your hands down to in prayer pose down to your heart inhale your arms out to cross this time sweep your arms back up to prayer make your little um cross your fingers to, to the little hope as you exhale your hands down to your heart all the way down past your heart down to the floor sweep your hands up your your feet, your shin, your calf, all up your body, up your stomach. And once you hit your heart, make the peace sign again so your palms rotate. You know, sweep it away. As it sweeps open, draw your elbows to your rib cage. Feel that nice strength here. And then allow your spine to work to do a um, nice little flow here. Good, nice and relax. And then make your little fist with power. And then we're going to rotate the wrist all the way away from each other for the Holy Spirit. And we're going to sweep our arms all the way up in the sky again. And then as we bring our hands back into the piece again, rotate, sweep it away. Hands down to the ground into the mountain pose. This time, bring your feet onto the blocks for the hills. Bring your hands together, slowly come down slightly. Feel how your feet are nice pressed into your body. As you press down onto the blocks, press your hands upward into bursting into song. Inhale, beautiful. Now bring your hands down, or your feet down to the floor. One foot is nice and firm, the opposite foot your heels are up and you can choose to have your foot into whatever level of tree that you want. Expand your branches. Inhale, branches open. As you exhale, clap. Inhale, rotate your palms away from you. Open up, expansion. Exhale, clap again. Inhale here. Exhale, up across your body. Inhale, clap. Exhale, cross over the body, but with the opposite hand is on top. Beautiful. Now you're going to switch out your foot. This time, your opposite foot is now up, and you can decide what level. Inhale your arms up for branches. Exhale your hands to clap. Rotate your palms away. So get a nice external rotation of your shoulders for inhale. Exhale, clap. Inhale as you bring your arms away from each other. Exhale, cross over your body. Inhale, clap. Exhale, opposite. Applied. Now, you're going to gently pull down the fingers, uh, the pinky fingers. Inhale and exhale. Now, your ring finger. Inhale and exhale. Now, your middle finger. Inhale, exhale. Now your pointer finger, inhale and exhale. Now your thumb, inhale and exhale. Now your opposite pinky, your hand, inhale, exhale. Now your ring finger, inhale and exhale. Now your middle finger, inhale, exhale. Now your pointer finger, inhale, Exhale, now your thumb. Inhale, exhale. And if you're ready, if you want to try the option of the trial, you can come off your chair, or you can do that same option that we start off with. So in this case, if you're facing your chair, you lift up to the leg that's, that's opposite of the back of your chair. Lean forward, so a nice little stretch. And you can just stay here and pulse a little if you want, or be static. If you like, you want to reach your arm up and exhale back down. Straighten, straighten that left 
uh, or the knee that's in front kind of bend forward and stretch. And then you're gonna switch up. So make sure your foot comes down, you're nice and solid, come over to the opposite side. Again, whichever foot is is away from the back of your chair, you have that one come up onto your chair. And then kind of lean forward. Make sure you have the other one a little further back. Again, your hands nice on the back of the chair. You can arm up, or again, you can just have your hand on your thigh just to look over your shoulder. So just let this nice little spine twist up to you. We're going to extend your arms all the way up. Exhale down, straighten that front leg. Beautiful. Come back to center. All right, let's go back into seat. And then this time we're going to inhale our arms all the way up as we start lifting up our knees, alternating, or you can just pump your heels up. Okay, until our arms into cross. And we're going to stop our feet, rotate our hands, so we're going to get in that rotation to our little mask so that we see. Inhale here, and as you exhale, release and let it reach. Go up and look at our fingers. And then we're going to go into revealing to all the world. Don't forget to go with the opposite side. Even go to all the planets that rotate in the opposite direction. Let's let's get So your arms all the way up and exhale it down. Exhale all the way down. Do a nice little forward fold. Stay here. Feel the lower back stretch. Nice counter pose. Inhale back up slowly. Then just rotate your shoulders again. All right, this is where we're going to end our um, movement and then work on the meditation. And what I plan for us to do is um, I'm going to do a reading for Isaiah 55. So in this case, a good way to relax, um, find a position that feels good for you. Some people like to put blocks behind the back of the chair and them. You don't have to. If you feel comfortable sitting upright, feel free to do that one. Um, but you also want to draw your hands onto your palms again. Draw the elbows to your ribcage. And then this time, you get an external rotation of your shoulders. Allow the palms facing upward. It's kind of received. I want you to see if you can feel the collarbones nice and expanded. Your chest is open. Your heart is, is revealed. All right. So when you do that, what I'm going to do I need to put my glasses on. I am going to switch to a picture that brought this to mind. Wait. So as you're, you can close your eyes. Oops. Close your eyes and just picture yourself in God's wonderful creation. And just reconnect with your breath and just feel that that beautiful air that has that thin. So this is Isaiah 55. Is anyone thirsty? Come and drink. Even if you have no money, come take your choice of wine or milk. It's all free. Why spend your money on food that does not give you strength? Why pay for food that does you no good? Listen to me, and you will eat what is good. You will enjoy the finest food. Come to me with your ears wide open. Listen, and you will find life. I will make an everlasting covenant with you. I will give you all the unfailing love I promised to David. See how I used him to display my power among the peoples. I made him a leader among the nations. You also will command nations you do not know, and peoples unknown to you will come running to obey, because I, the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, have made you glorious. Seek the Lord while you can find him. Call on him now while he is near. 
Let the wicked change their ways and banish the very thought of doing wrong. Let them turn to the Lord that he may have mercy on them. Yes, turn to our God, for he will forgive generously. My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you can imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. The rain and snow come down from the heavens and stay on the ground to water the earth. They cause the grain to grow, producing seed for the farmer and bread for the hungry. It is the same with my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to, and it will prosper everywhere I send it. You will live in joy and peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song, and the trees of the field will clap their hands. Where once there were thorns, cypress trees will grow. Where nettles grew, myrtles will sprout up. These events will bring great honor to the Lord's name. They will be an everlasting sign of his power and love. Allow these words to just sink into your whole entire being. Allow the presence of the Lord to fill you up. As if you're sitting amongst these trees near the mountain. Sometimes it could make us feel so insignificant. Yet, know this. God loves you so much. You are so significant that he sent his only son to die for you. This Isaiah 55 is an invitation to the Lord's salvation. And with this, we're going to end by placing your hands in prayer pose, right? Palms touching palms, thumb resting right above your heart. Full inhale through your nose here. Exhale, out breath. Deep inhale, full exhale. Full inhale, and complete knowing, peaceful, joyful exhale. Thank you for allowing me to share this prayer with you. I ask that you allow his spirit to fill you up, provide you with that joy always, and you can clap your hands and burst into song. Thank you. Amen. All right, I'm trying to figure out what to do now. <laughs> uh, I think that's something.